Spain won the World Cup for the first time in their history in 2010, and that signalled the zenith of a 12-year domination of international football by the European nation. The team who brought it home in South Africa is still referred to as the golden generation of Spanish football, and today, 12 years after their triumph, we want to see where the starting 11 of the golden generation are today. This is the 2010 World Cup winning Spain team and where they are right now. Goalkeeper Iker Casillas Casillas was the captain of the Spain team and he also won the Yashin Award for being the best goalkeeper at the tournament. He kept five clean sheets of the 2010 World Cup, which is a World Cup record. At the time, Casillas was playing for Real Madrid and in fact, he became captain of the side the same year. He would go on to captain the side until he left in 2015 to join Porto. He played for Porto for four years before he suffered a heart attack in 2019 and eventually retired from professional football in 2020. That same year, he was appointed to be deputy to the CEO of the Real Madrid Foundation. Right back Sergio Ramos Yes, you know him as a centre-back, but in 2010, Sergio Ramos was playing as a right-back for the Spain national team. He was playing for Real Madrid at the time and would go on to be named captain of the club in 2015, a role he played until he left them in 2021 for PSG, where he currently plays. On the international scene, Ramos is still going strong for Spain. He's currently the captain of the side and, until he missed out on Euro 2020, he was on a run of 10 straight tournaments being called up for Spain. Ramos, who is Spain's most capped player and ninth top scorer of all time, is currently having a good time at PSG with his former fierce rival, Lionel Messi. Centre-back Carlos Puyol Puyol was one of the oldest players in that 2010 World Cup winning squad, so it's no surprise that he retired earlier than most. As at 2010, Puyol was the captain of an ultra-successful Barcelona side that were doing exploits in Europe and Spain. He scored the only goal in the World Cup semi-final in 2010 to send Spain to their first ever World Cup final. Even though he wasn't yet retired, he missed out on the Euro 2012 victory because of an injury. He would go on to retire from international football in 2013, and professional football in 2014. That same year he retired, he was appointed director of football by Barcelona, but he resigned a year later in 2015. In 2019, he was offered the sporting director role at the Catalan club, but he turned them down. Centre-back Gerard Piquet Piquet made his debut for Spain in 2009 and played for nine more years before he retired from playing for the Spain national team in 2018 and went on to play for the Catalan national side. But we cannot talk about PK and the 2010 World Cup without talking about his love life. He famously met Shakira at the start of that tournament and promised he'd make it to the final just to see her again. And as you know, he did that and they got together. They dated for more than a decade before finally splitting just a few months ago as a result of the defender's infidelity. PK still plays for Barcelona and is currently their vice captain. Left back, Juan Capdevila. One of the lesser known names in that Spain team, Cap de Villa, was plying his trade at Villarreal at the time and that made him the only player in the starting 11 for Spain who wasn't playing for either Real Madrid or Barcelona. He would later move to Benfica, Espanyol, Northeast United in India, Lies in Belgium and finally Santa Coloma in Andorra where he retired in 2017 at the age of 39. Central defensive midfielder Sergio Busquets the youngest in Spain's starting lineup in 2010, Busquets debuted for Spain in 2009 and walked straight into the first team. The Barcelona man still plays for the Spain national team, captaining them to the semi finals at Euro 2020. In 2021, following Messi's exit, he became Barcelona captain, a role which he still plays to date. Central defensive midfielder Xabi Alonso. In 2010, Spain played with a double pivot, mixing the youthfulness of Busquets and the experience of Xavi Alonso, who was playing for Real Madrid and by then had already won the Champions League with Liverpool. Alonso would go on to win another Champions League with Real Madrid in 2014. That same year, he made the move to Bayern Munich and also retired from international football after an embarrassing World Cup outing. On the 9th of March 2017, Xabi Alonso used a now famous photo of him to announce on Twitter that he would be retiring from professional football at the end of the 2016-17 season. In 2018, he returned to Madrid to serve as coach for their under-14 side for a year, and then in 2019, he was hired to manage Real Sociedad's B team. He left in May after his side suffered relegation to the third tier. Central midfield, Xavi you could say that Xavi was the fulcrum of the World Cup winning Spain team. He was always at the heart of midfield and almost always dictated the pace of the game. He was one of the best players in the world at the time of finished third in the FIFA Ballon d'Or rankings that year. 
Xavi was vice captain of Barcelona at the time and would go on to become captain following Puyol's exit in 2014. After helping Barca win another European treble, he left Barcelona and joined Al Sadd, where he played for four years and kick-started his managerial career. Then, with Barcelona going through a meltdown in 2021, Xavi was hired to take over from Koeman as manager of his boyhood club. Right wing, Andres Iniesta. Iniesta is regarded by many as Spain's greatest ever player. He finished second to Lionel Messi in the 2010 FIFA Ballon d'Or and was named Man of the Match in the 2010 World Cup Final after he scored the only goal of the game to seal the first ever World Cup win for Spain. At the time, Iniesta was playing for boyhood club Barcelona, where he enjoyed tremendous success until he left in 2018 for Vissel Kobe in Japan, where he still plays today. Iniesta retired from international football after the 2018 World Cup. Left wing, Pedro. Pedro, who was playing for Barcelona at the time, left the Catalan club in 2015 to join Chelsea. There he spent five years before joining Roma, where he played for just one season. In 2021, he made the move across Rome to Italian giants Lazio, where he still plies his trade. The pacey forward retired from international football in 2017. Centre forward, David Villa. David Villa was one of the most important parts of that Spain team in South Africa. He scored five of the eight goals that Spain managed in the tournament and finished as joint top scorer at that World Cup. Just before the World Cup, he completed a move from Valencia to Barcelona. He spent three years in Catalonia before moving to Atletico Madrid, where he spent one year and then moved into MLS. He would go to Australia on loan for a few months, move back to MLS, before finally moving to Vissel Kobe, where he retired from professional football in 2020. But years before that, in 2017, he retired from international football as Spain's all-time top scorer. Right now, David Villa works with Odisha FC of the Indian Super League as head of global football operations and technical advisor. Do you remember watching the 2010 World Cup? If you do, comment with the name of your favourite player at the tournament. Our own favourite player was the Jabalani Ball. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.